Hello! Welcome to Robin's Mobile Roost. Today I am in my fifth wheel camper in Montana um, on a little adventure that I and my husband are doing. And I want to share with you a card that I have cased. And if you're not familiar with that term, it means copy and share everything um, from a swap card that I got from Donald Chefsky. And I don't have the card along with me, but um, it was it was similar but different. But the main part that I wanted to share with you is how to create this cool flower pot using a penguin punch. How weird is that, right? Flower pots and flowers from a penguin punch. But let's flip the camera and I will show you how to do that. So to create the flower pot, we're going to start with our penguin punch. We're going to be using this portion of it and the little um, foot to make the flower petals or flowers themselves. So let's start with a piece of Bermuda Bay paper. And you're not even gonna waste very much paper because you're gonna slide this in using the um, this pot portion here that really looks like a pot, but you're not gonna cut the entire thing because you're just going to um, to cut it so that just a little bit of the pot opens up on the top. So there's our pot. Isn't that awesome? And then for our stems, we're going to use that same that same punch and I'm coming in with um, some soft succulent and I'm just going to take a nip off of the edge of that. Um, so it's going to make kind of a curvy stem. And if you want, when you um, when you actually punch it, put your hand over it so you don't lose it like that one. And then if you don't like the um, like the curve or whatever, you can just take and nip that off because you're going to cover it. On one end is going to have the flower, and then the other end is going to be tucked into your pot. And then for the flowers, we're going to do those with some um, Fleur de Flamingo. And you can see I've, I've done one set from here already. And you're just gonna take just, just the little, I keep wanting to call it a paw, his foot, and tip it over so it lands in your hand so they don't fly all over. <clears throat> and there you've got your flowers. And then I just wanted to show you on the card that I cased from Don Olchewski, she used the rectangle postage stamp punch to create a background for her pot to sit on. Now my card just uses a, a two by two and a half inch square. So either way, it's just fine, however you want it. Or you could layer it directly onto your card too, depending on what you, um, <clears throat> what you're planning, what you've got going. And then you just decide how you're gonna lay out your stems because each card is going to be unique. Your stems are gonna look a little different. Now I like to put this all together with the liquid glue. So just give it a little swirl and with liquid glue, less is better. Just always kind of the less is more, right? Just just a little a little dab will do you because you don't want it oozing out, and then you have to deal with that. So just a very small stream of it. See, I got way too much on that one. Now I'm gonna have to deal with with all this um, oozing overflow. Isn't that just so cute? And now you can use your penguin punch all year long for things other than Christmas or penguins. 
So then you're just going to layer this onto a piece of whatever color cardstock you want for your card. So this is, this one I've chosen a piece of Knight of Navy and it is two and a quarter by two and three fourths. And then I have a piece of designer series paper <clears throat> and this one happens to be the um, Sweet Symmetry and I'm just going to layer this on to a piece of basic white thick uh, card base. I've got my little little greeting underneath and this is also um, two and a quarter and this one I made just a snitch wider so rather than being a half inch it is <clears throat> five eighths and then the mat is is uh, seven eighths and I planned on making this a birthday one because <clears throat> the birthday greeting in the penguin play stamp set is two lines you know the happy birthday and I'm just using basic black ink so there we go and I don't have a card base out so I'm going to let you imagine that that is like that oh and I think I forgot to show you this is the matching stamp set that goes with the punch and you're gonna want to get it as a bundle because it's just so darn cute the little um, penguins you can make this guy sliding down the snow hill but like I said with with the um, flower pot you can use it all year long there's other ones out there um, some Halloween ones that I've seen so check Pinterest for those thanks for stopping by the roost hope you have a wonderful day